Thank you so much. It's so great to be here with all of you. Great job on the show. It's been a blast and so emotional too. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. So my first question is for Alexa. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. So Alexa is the narrator. How do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I really enjoy being a narrator. I think it fits Alexa's character. I mean, she's an observer and an artist and kind of somewhat an introvert. <laughs> and when she narrates, you can tell it's almost like you're standing next to her and she's telling you what she feels while she paints because she sees the whole world as her canvas. Oh, thank you, Trinity. <laughs> and uh, also, Alexa is following her dream, which I love. And I was watching with my teenage daughter. And this is a great message. How do you feel that parents can be more supportive of their kids following their dream? Um, I think one of the great things about, I mean, the Hug Garcia family and the Garcias in general is that they all are really supportive of each other and have each other's backs. And I mean, it's also, especially to my character, Alexa, it seems like my dad doesn't want me to be an artist and is biting in, but of course he's just trying to protect me. Yeah. Um, and also that's something that Alexa goes through to figure out how to follow her dreams and withstand negative feedback. I love that. Great, great scenes with your on-screen dad, for sure. Mm -hmm. and, and with that, you're returning, Jeffrey, to yeah. the Garcia family. Brought me out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. How does it feel? I know that everybody asks you that, but I have to know for myself. <laughs> it, it, it really is just the biggest like blessing in my life right now. I, I couldn't be happier to, uh, to be a part of this show and cast and, um, and yeah, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Yay. And so you, Elsha and Jeffrey, as a interracial couple are being, bringing this mix of cultures and traditions why do you feel this is important for the audience and what do you hope they would take away from, from this? I feel like it's just so important to see that on TV, you know, the mix of cultures and that that it's normal. So many families look like this. And so I think it's so great to see it on TV. Yeah, yeah being able to identify with, with these characters and, and, you know, representation for, for all these people, um, you know, that that might be watching, I, I think is, is going to be key. Yeah. Carlos and Yun Yin are my favorite couple. Ah, thank you. They're <laughs> mine too. My favorite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and speaking of, of family, just one last thing. Uh, what do you feel about your relationship with, or, or Carlos's relationship with his brother, George? Um, I think, uh, I think it's a little bit of a, of a reversal of roles from the original show, you know what I mean? When George was definitely looking up to his older brother on a lot of different, you know, aspects of life. And, um, and now George is, you know, the, the boss basically of the, of his own company and Carlos works for him. And I think it's really hard for him to, to kind of, you know, swallow that pill, so to say, yeah. um, at first, but, but both of them, you know, their, their roots are just so strong and they've had each other's backs for so long that, that it's, it, they couldn't, we can, we don't break up. You know what I mean? <laughs> we can never break away from each other. Yes. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. I'm really enjoying the show and have fun at the premiere tonight. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you Elena. so, so much. Thank you. <laughs>